I sat down to write the script for 106 and realized that a lot of the camera choreography needed to be incorporated into the draft itself because we were doing 18-page scenes without any cuts. I wanted an episode that would appear to take place essentially in real time in one single shot. Piece of cake. It turned into a challenge unlike anything else I've ever had in production. The set had to actually be constructed with this episode in mind. We knew that we had certain shots that were going to require us to walk through the house in its entirety. I'm getting Theo's first line into the banister so you can see your face. Yeah. Instead of spending 30 to 45 minutes setting up an individual shot, you spend several days planning, lighting, choreographing, blocking. Because after the first clap, you got to start with it. They've programmed every single lighting cue. So not only is there lightning, there's also individual beauty lighting cues, and there's water coming in the fireplace, and there are ghosts appearing and disappearing. All of those things are laid out very clearly in Mike's mind. He spent a lot of time thinking about this story and thinking about how he was going to film it visually. So when you approach the scene, all of that is thought out and prepared. Every shot was the product of a hundred people standing on each other's shoulders and having to execute dozens or hundreds of tasks. Everyone has to be absolutely in sync with each other, and if one thing is off, the take is gone. You're trying to capture lightning in a bottle, but you just have to get it once. When you're sitting at monitor watching this happen, you start to get 10, 11, 12 minutes in, and then you start like, oh God, please let us get through this, please let us get through this. At a certain point, you're really thinking like, the one thing I don't want to do is mess this up. Right now, can't do it. No, but you also can't play it safe because that would be boring. So you have to sort of go for it. You let her believe all that bullshit. You know, all that bullshit I'll about Hill House. And this is the inevitable conclusion, which makes you culpable, frankly. We got through it based on the efforts and the concentration of our cast and crew. It's just amazing because it feels somewhere between a play and a show and a film. It's one of the most exciting things I've ever done. The volume of work you guys are doing, it's, it's really breathtaking. Thanks for all of that, and I can't wait to see this one.